Charlotte, and we are back in the Diet Dr. Pepper series for the longest race of the season. This is the half distance Coke 600. Should be a fun one, should be a very, very tough one. Um, this is going to be a marathon. This is the true endurance race of the season. We've had several already like that, several 250 milers, but this will be a 300 mile race here at Old Charlotte. And we got overcast skies. All of the sessions are starting off with 0% track because it's been raining. And in real life, the season I'm basing this off of, the Coke 600 actually got rain shortened. So we're not doing that. Um, but we'll be overcast and we'll be a green track. And I'm going to try and qualify here. Um, first lap is just about getting the tires up to temp I found in these cars as well as the Arca cars when we raced those earlier this week. Try and get a good exit out of four and then go for lap two if we can manage. Well, 29.8 is not terrible, I don't think. I'd rather a 29.7 or 6 if I could manage it. It's about getting it to that white line and not getting too loose like that. Still might be able to gain a little bit. We get a decent turn three and four. Tires are very hot. No, nah, this is terrible now. Oh, we cannot qualify worth a darn. This whole season, we've not been able to qualify. I've actually done quite a bit of practice this week. Well, not really practice, but a couple quick tests. So I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna do a green flag stop here. I've done several already this week. Looks like we're sitting P15. Colton up on pole with the 29.5. He's been doing some practice. Good luck to him. He's going to be quick. Tracy as well, and Mitch, and John, Chuck, Billy, Alayton up there. A lot of fast guys. We got our uh, Coke 600 Memorial Day scheme going. Got the red, white, and blue colors. I think it will be pretty good. I'm going to run the, ba the same exact scheme pretty much the whole season with little changes like this. I don't know if there's going to be any more special races where we're going to change it much. But uh, definitely thinking next week we're back to the default, the one that I've been running before Richmond. Because back in this time, they kind of ran the same scheme all year for multiple years in a row. So we qualify in the back half of the people that put in a lap. Of course, a lot of people that uh, have not put in a lap. Some people that have not come back after leaving, I think... <laughs> I think some people joined, and then after they joined, they realized, oh, this is going to be a really freaking long race. So uh, they have dipped out, which uh, is totally understandable. This is going to be a long one. Most likely a two-hour race, at least, if we don't even get cautions. And I imagine there's going to be some cautions. Shane asking for an EOL. Good to see him back. Um, always fun racing with him. We will give him an EOL. He's starting several rows ahead of us. Ian's back there with us, kind of. We we're fell back to 18th. Ian up in 15th. Shane qualified 12th, but uh, he says he wants an EOL for being out of practice, which is fine. I will do that for him. And let's go see where our pit box is. I guess we'll go ahead and practice one more green flag stop. Because we're going to have a couple green flag stops. Fuel is going to be very interesting for this race, and I'll get more into that Outside. in a moment. You're clear high. Clear high. But uh, it's going to be very weird how the fuel is going to work. Ideally, I think you want this to be a three-stop race. It's all going to depend on cautions, right? And I'll just I'll save that for when I talk about it in the uh, warm-up lap. Because I've got that infographic I'm going to go off of. <laughs> I want to use it, get some use out of it. We can put it on F3. We'll try a green flag pit stop real quick. Yeah, 200 lap race. 
half of the 400 laps that they do in real life, it is going to be a long one. Longest of the season. They don't get longer than this for all our half distance races. And uh, should be fun. Charlotte is very, very tough track to have a race like this in. It's very narrow, high speed. Um, if you get in traffic, you can get into trouble very easily. But it's all going to be about pacing yourself, give and take early on, doing the best you can. Um, yeah, should be an interesting one. Earlier this week when I was testing, I was uh, feeling very tight. And then today, uh, Chad hosted a happy hour session. And I was feeling go? pretty dang loose, so I'm not sure what I was doing earlier this week. Probably just overdriving everything. But this car, you can always get loose on exit. With all the power it's got to the rear end, so you just got to be careful. Paint that white line, try and take care of the right front, especially early on when the track's at 0%. Um, it'll be interesting. It will be interesting. I guess I'll go ahead and do this now before we get to the grid. But Charlotte Motor Speedway, we are here for the Coke 600, uh, Coke 300 really, for 200 laps or 300 miles. Um, Going to be a very tough one. That fuel window is about 45 to 50 laps. But if you're going the whole time, like not actually actively saving, I don't know if 50 laps is going to be possible. Like I, I don't know if it will be, which is going to make pit strategy very interesting because you need to get to at least lap 50 every run to make this a uh, three-stop race and not a four-stop race. Because you do 50, 100, and then 150 to the end. But if you can only do 45 laps... Um, it's going to be very tough because you'll have to pit 45 and then 90 and then like 135. Where's he at? Um, I got to find him. All right, man, we're going green next time. Qualified 12th. All right, man, line up on the outside row now. We put in there plenty of fuel to finish the race. Pit road is closed. It's going to be very interesting. I think you have to try and switch it have to try and get to lap 50 each run. Obviously that's going to change if we get a bunch of cautions you and then you'll be able to go other directions. And have a good run. But uh, that will be that for the future. I think we're going to try and just back it off a little bit and try and save a bit. Hey guys, I'm going to the back. I'm going to stay against the wall in turn one and two. Also, cool little statistic, we've had four drivers complete uh, compete in 10 races this season, all 10. There's been 10 races. This is the 11th race. We've had four drivers, including me, that have been to all 10 of them so far, which is pretty awesome. I thought for sure I would be the only one um, at this point that have been to every single race. So that's awesome. Big thank you to every everyone. Thank you to all of them. Is it not telling him to go to the back? I think it is. But also, in addition to those four... Good luck, everybody. We've had 21... 21 unique drivers that have done eight or more. So, a large portion that have come in to the vast majority of the races, which is very exciting and very cool. And uh, I'm very grateful to all you guys for joining these races and making these a ton of fun. Um, they've been an absolute blast, the racing we're getting pretty fantastic and uh, I am looking for forward to more and uh, looking forward to this race it's gonna be a long one I'm excited for it and uh, we'll see what we can get pace cars in let's go long race Ooh, got a little loose there in third gear be nice and smooth on entry And we are off. 
I have the two times time acceleration for the half distance race, which means this will transition into night before this one's over. So it will be fun to see all that, see that transition. We got Chad in front of us here. He's running a different scheme than what I saw on Happy Hour. I don't know if I forgot to update or what. But he's still in his Michael Waltrip, so that's cool. Running 14 to 1 on the steering ratio, 60% brakes. Because I think as the run goes on, it's going to get very tight on entry, especially if I'm overdriving like I usually do. But uh, we'll try our best to back him up, especially early on here. We're back in 16th early on here. Let's see if we get a run on Chad out of turn four here. Old Charlotte, so treacherous out of turn four. He used to have so little grip on the old tire model. He would be spinning outside of turn four all the time. Chad giving us plenty of room there. All clear, all clear. I'm just going to be focused on wrapping that white line and trying not to push up too much. P6 just set the fastest lap. See some smoke out of turn two there, no caution. I didn't see what happened, so I can't throw one. See Eric and Ian up there ahead of Dakota. Looked like Eric got a bit of a bobble in the middle of three and four. Now fuel-wise, like we're already on 39 laps to go, and we have not done 10 laps. We've done six. Like, it's going to be like... I don't think if you're going the whole time that you can go to lap 50. I think we're going to have a lot of people that are going to pit 45, 46 or something, and then end up having to pit with like 20 or 15 laps to go in the race. If we get a caution, though, at any time, that's going to throw all of that into a completely different situation. But uh, very interesting how it's working out to start with, at least. We got Warren right behind us, and then Tyler. We're a little bit loose there. We're kind of not able to keep up with Nick King here. That's all right. I'm playing the tires. I probably should be playing the fuel more than anything. Because I should at least be trying to get this to lap 50. I think... I don't know. We might be able to save enough later in this run that we could stretch it to lap 50. It might be tough to do late. Like this might be something we want to do to start with. Like right, right now we need to start saving. Just trying to lift a little bit early in the corners. I don't think that's going to save us enough. We got five sets of tires, I think. Oh, that's the wall. Got to be careful with turn four wall here. Very, very dangerous. I think we got away with it there. Remember, we did the truck race in a uh, truck NIS, and I clipped the wall pretty hard. I think that was that race, and uh, I was basically out of it. Took the wall out of turn four pretty early on and just killed it. But these, I don't think, are as hurt by aero damage or anything like that. Like the truck is. Starting to catch up here a little bit. Ian has gotten around Eric up there.
Oh, Nick is diving it in. He got the spot, though, or the position. We'll see if we can take advantage. Watch that grass. Let's not clip the grass. That can spin us out pretty easily in these things as well. We've got one outside. Stay low, there's a car on the high side. Nice and easy. Not clip the bottom or get loose or anything. And no need to force the tires more than we have to at this point. Sorry, Lance. Yeah, alright, Did overdrive three a little bit right there, but made the pass. I'd like to get up into the top 10 if I could, but I'm not in a big rush. And there, we're just entering too shallow. Get to 20 laps complete, and we'll be one tenth of the way there. So that's cool. Looks like somebody's broken away up front, is driving away with the lead. It might be Colton. The year I'm basing this season off of uh, was back when me and my family were going to the Coke 600 every year. We did that for like five or six years in a row. And uh, I think, like, all but one of them, Jimmy Johnson won. He might have won all of them, actually. I don't remember ever seeing anybody else win this race. His Lowe's car at Lowe's Motor Speedway back then. So it made sense, right? Outside. Get a run on Nick. He just lifts for Still us. There. Thank clear, you. I think the first year that Toyota was in the series was the last year that we went. So that was like 06, 07, I think. And I don't think I've been there since then. I've been to a couple other races. Come on up, please. Obviously. A oh, big Titan three. I don't like that. Need to back up that corner a bit more. This front group isn't really getting away from us too bad, except that leader is just long gone. Can't tell who it is. I, I think it's Colton. He's got like a whole second on the whole back group. We've got Eric and Michael up here in front of us. They both went kind of high in three and four. It's getting very tight in three and four. We're in P13 though, that's pretty good. I will take that. I don't consider Charlotte to be one of my better tracks. But I said that about Richmond as well and ended up finishing pretty well. So hopefully we can luck our way into a good race today as well. We were a little bit slower than the leader that time, but not by a lot. In sim time, it is uh, 7.15 almost p.m. This race started, I think, 6.45. So in about an hour from when the race no started, problem, man. we should be seeing night. Oh, Zachary, work called him last minute. Thanks for joining anyway. If you can get a good run on my inside train, can I have a pop on you go? It's unfortunate when that happens, but early retirement, yeah, right, not uncommon. Not uncommon for this time period. Lots of people start the race, but don't end up doing too many laps. Rick. So, yeah, it funny. happens. We're starting to race too wide up ahead. I think everybody's Thank just in right around mode. Oh, you're welcome, 
with a race this long, you can't afford to be pushing 100% of the time. Fuel is going to be so interesting. I feel like these cars have smaller tanks here on iRacing than they did in real life. So I don't think 50 laps was the max they could do. I think I feel like they could do 70 or 80 even. But I'm not sure about that. I cannot remember. I feel like these cars have smaller tanks though, and obviously they're pulling 10,000 RPM down the straights. That's going to burn a lot of fuel very quickly. Not fuel efficient by any means. Oh, we got some smoke up ahead. Somebody getting loose out of turn two, but I did not see anybody sideways. They must have got it saved pretty quickly. I think everybody is kind of struggling to get to that bottom line, including me in three and four. It's so tight. Could be wind that's making that a bit worse as well. It's not a problem in one and two. I seem to be able to get to the bottom. Come on, Shane. Big cluster of cars up ahead. They're kind of tripping over each other. Yeah, no kidding. I got snappy loop all of a sudden. Oh, there. I think that was Mitch that almost spun out. My bad, Wesley. Got into Wesley. They get checked up there. I think it was mutual. Make some contact, but they kept it going. That was scary to see right in front of us. That's going to get us all backed up here a little bit. But everyone's calmed it down, I think. It's going to start getting loose on the front stretch for sure as these tires get older and older. Some people are starting to lose the handling though it looks like and this front pack is kind of starting to spread out, break apart a bit. Eric to the high side around Michael. Getting pretty loose through the dog leg. Wesley running up high. I think he might have caught the wall. We're getting loose. Racing in traffic is going to get us very loose as well. You need to be careful. Hey, I think my right rear just checked out. Oh no. That can't be a comfortable feeling. It looks like it. You're struggling tonight. I've been off for a month. <laughs> That's why I went to the back. Yeah, the first one of the race is usually the hardest to do. Yeah, especially when there's no, no rubber on the track. Should get better for them. Outside. We get a run under Michael and then we get tight. He gives us the lane though. Stay low, there's a car behind that. See if you can get around them in turn one and two. Still there. It's going to be hard to save any fuel running into traffic like this. It's going to be really hard to back off. I don't think we're making it to lap 50 this run. Might have to try and save in some of the later runs, which is like if we can't make it long, this first one is going to make each next one much harder save to where we need to be. Maybe we just not worry about it and expect to get a caution. And that'll get us even to be able to make it. I don't know. I don't think you can run these races expecting to get a, to get a caution. I just I don't think that's a good play. Outside. A ton of these races have gone Stay really low. green. Stay 
Little grass doesn't hurt us too bad. Eric caught the wall a little bit. You got it, Chuck. We get around Thank Eric. You, man. Try to be careful, you're blinking quite a bit. Yeah, I noticed that. Up to P11. Mitch has driven away from Wesley. Wesley looks like he's struggling with the right rear a little bit as well. Maybe why he's running the top side more and more to get some wear on the right front. Could be. Whoop. Uh, we're going to be at like 46. 47 to get to pit road. If I could stretch that just three more laps, I'd be very comfortable. But I don't, I don't know if we can. Oh, big tight right there. Do I try clutching it? I don't know. Ooh, Wesley in the wall. Outside. Lost a bunch of momentum right there. Yeah, Mitch nearly yeah, spawned yeah. out of turn two again up there. Some people are struggling with the right rear. I'm glad we've been kind of overdriving it, keeping it on the right front. Thank you. It's how reporting quite a bit. 10-4. John's blinking a bit. Yeah, that does not feel comfortable. Car's slow on the front stretch. That does not feel comfortable. Sorry, I'm trying to let you die. And we're definitely slower doing that as well. That's okay. I don't want to back up and lose a ton of track position. We got a bunch of cars behind us. But I also want to make it to lap 50 if I can. I don't know. Let's see, we're slowing up Dakota doing this. Somebody on pit road there, that's Shane. Might have had to just bring it to pit road. Struggling on that right rear. We got some space behind us to Dakota. Yeah, take it low and one in. I might uh, keep clutching it here. See if we can't get this to lap 50 somehow. Appreciate it. No problem. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. We're on lap 46. Is what the fuel is saying. Which is unfortunate. Definitely taking four tires though, and a full tank. We're not going to be able to afford to cut it too close. I think we go as long as we possibly can here. It's not going to be to 50, but we'll go as much as we can to try and save in the next runs, maybe. we got to do it the whole time, though. 
Problem is, if we get a caution, we just lose a bunch of track position for no reason doing that. So it's, I mean, it's a risk. Four car pitting, four car pitting. It's a risk to do either one. Play for the long green. Try and make this a three stopper instead of a four stopper. These guys are all pitting early. They're not playing a three stopper. They're just going right for the four stopper. I don't know if a three stopper is even possible. So. We got six laps we can go. We can, looks like we can go to 47. 83 pitting this time. Smoke up ahead of Mitch. Can't Thank tell you. who that is. That is, uh, no idea. 73-73 for Bryce, that's good. I don't think we're going to be 73-73. We're probably going to be 50-89 or something. <laughs> probably not that bad. Lots of space behind us, just Michael, who's now pitting, so we're just going to go full clutch in the corners and just try and get this as far as possible. And not spin out, hopefully. Got people going to be pitting. That's uh, a Leighton. We're going as long as we can. I think Colton is going as long as he can as well. I think he's still up in the lead. I can't imagine he'll be able to go to 50 either, though. Especially with how hard he was going. It looked like he was just going real fast. Obviously, way up ahead of us. Caden's pitting in front of us here. Pitting. Fifty-eight, fifty-seven for a Leighton. That's pretty good. Mitch hasn't pit yet. Billy hasn't pit yet up there. That was almost a disaster. Holy crap! Caden had a uh, scary pit stop. Sounds like. Thirty-two keep pitting. Mitch is pitting. We're gonna go at least one more lap. One lap with the damage. Great. We're gonna have to pit next time. You got Wesley. So we are only gonna be able to make it to 46. Coming to 47 when we pit. this time. So that's all right. I gotta pit. Twenty pitting this time. Don't forget to pit this lap for more fuel. Yeah, we're pitting. We're pitting. Billy doing the same thing that we're doing here. Make sure we get it slowed down. Any pit mistake with how long green we go is very, very damaging and it gets amplified by 85 crazy. Pitting this time. Right here. Oh, you've got to be kidding me as I say that, and I wasn't even too far forward. I barely moved. Yeah, you wasn't messing around, shit. 5960. The leader is pitting now. Colton made it an extra lap. That's it, go. Had to sit there a long time to get that thing full of fuel. Oh, I think Eric got damage. Let's see if we can get a decent exit here. Probably gonna lose some track position short term here. I think we're gonna maybe be able to get some of that back on tires. But I am playing to try and get fuel as long as we can. Like, to go as long as we can, if you know what I mean. And I also got to be careful on cold tires with how loose this is going to be. Security pick. We lost, like, seven spots there. That's understandable, and I'm not 
too upset about that, though I think if we keep pitting later and later, we're going to keep losing more and more spots on tires. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work. But if we can afford to do that, and uh, they all have to pit an extra time and we don't, it might work out for us, but I don't know if that's going to be a possible thing we can do. I believe that is Tracy in the lead now. We definitely want to just lift early in the corners. Try and not do blazing fast laps. And uh, just try and uh, stretch this fuel mileage as much as we can. Like if we want to make it to the end, we have to think about saving right now, and I think I might just start clutching it this early. Okay. Obviously, this early in the run, with how good the tires are, we're not going to be able to clutch it too much because we're not going to be off throttle for very long. Is this boring? I don't know. I think it's fun. Interesting to try and figure out how you're going to make it through this endurance race as efficiently as possible. I don't know. I think it's cool. Man, it's going to be tough. <laughs> We're going to be so slow doing all this clutching this early. So now there's no way we're going to be able to make it to 100. I don't think. Since we pit five or six laps early. Not that we had a choice. We are catching these guys. Pulling away from Tyler. I guess we're just going to keep clutching it. Trying to get as much as we can. Let's clutch this whole run and see how far we can take it. And if uh, we can't make it to 100 even doing this, we won't worry about it next run. So we at least got another run after this, right? Two more runs after this. So we'll try it now. If it doesn't do what we need it to do, then we won't worry about it. Thirty point four seven seven for the leader. What did we just do? We're about a tenth off. I mean, that's not bad. Not even a tenth. So I think the leader, whoever it is, is saving as well. I think it's still tracing. We got Tyler and then a pretty big gap, and we're also catching Nick here, so. And that little group ahead of him. So I am not too worried at this point. If we get a caution, though, it's going to hurt us a lot. Potentially. Because we'll have given up a bunch of track position. And we have not gone as hard as we could have to get anything back while we're saving. And if we get a caution, that just gives everyone on the same strategy anyway. That'll just put us at a disadvantage. Interesting to try, though. I think this will be really cool if it works, but I don't, I don't know. We should have done this first run. But so much traffic, I didn't want to slow anybody up, and I didn't want to lose a bunch of positions early. I think this is the perfect time to try this, because we don't have that many people around us. 
And if we need to let some people by, we're not just going to get freight trained. Back up to P-15. But you can see how much time we've lost to people who took tires early. But again, if we if this goes green the full distance, which would be insane, and they have to pit an extra time, I don't know. I think that's going to hurt them more than us saving here. Like, they're going to be able to be fast on new tires a lot more often than we're going to be able to. But I think that extra pit stop, if they have to do an additional pit stop that we don't have to do, they're going to lose so much. Probably over a lap minimum Outside. All clear, all can they clear. drive and get that back maybe we might get a caution up ahead I think Warren might have just put it in the wall or is that Caden got loose out of turn two and put it in the wall I believe it did a 30 30.9s from the leader well, we're going quicker than that they must really be saving one Gavin Thanks. Outside. Still there? Hold the line. All clear, all clear. Alright, what's fuel look like? 33. Oh, it's gonna get us, I don't know, 94. Can we save six more laps of fuel? Probably not. We're back at the 14th. Billy's like three and a half seconds ahead of us, which is crazy. Watch that white line. Tyler's just following us right now, it looks like. If we clutched from here to the end, there might be a chance we only have to pit two more times. It's going to be real tough to not have this be a four-stop race, though. It's going to be so tough. I don't know if it's going to be possible. I think some people are probably going to be able to do it. But I don't think it's going to be that many. And I may just be making things more complicated for myself. Sixty-four lap run to open this thing up though. So that's awesome. Pretty much come to expect that out of this series. These long green green runs, which is a way to get wrecked blocking on lap Really awesome, unless there's a caution right here. We're in 14th, I think. I said that already. Catching these guys because I think our tires are a little bit better. Marginally better. Pulled away from Steven quite a bit. Or if he's just used up his tires a little bit or has backed it off from all his saving. If that is what he's doing. Three. Leaders three. going a lot slower than we are, so I don't know if they're just on older tires, which is possible, or if they're really backing it off and saving. It could be both. Could certainly be both. Get a run on Caden here. You got one outside. Still there. Go ahead, Al. Stay low. Make sure we didn't slide up because we don't have engine braking. 
puts us 13th. See, all the saving, and we're actually getting our track position kind of back, which is nice. We'd stay 13th, 12th or 13th. While saving like this, that'd be pretty good. My shoulder is already killing me. <laughs> Having to sit in an office for 10 hours a day and then race is not the most comfortable thing. Thank you. I'm going. Next time by, we'll check fuel. It's not looking... We're not going to get this to 100. I don't know if the clutching is actually doing us anything. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it is. We're going to keep doing it this whole run and see, but I don't think we're getting... I don't think we're getting anything out of this. We may just have to play this as a four stopper if it stays green or if we get a caution it'll be a three stopper. I think we might have to give up on trying to get it to the end. We might just have to give up. Should I give up early this run, pit, and leapfrog some people? Outside. Or should I really just take this to the end and all just clear, see? I mean, we're not going to... I mean, we're going to be 94, 95, which seems like it's even worse than last time. When did we pit? 46, 47? I mean, that's almost 50 laps. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it's it's not 50, though. It's got to be 50 for us to make it. I just don't know if it's possible. It's not looking super possible for us. Somebody coming out of pit road up there. It looks like Bryce. No, it's Rick. Get a run on Warren here. Stay low, there's a call on the high side. Stay low. If we can. Stay low. Should eventually be able to clear him. Seventy-five. How many laps of fuel do we have left? Twenty. A little less than twenty. Uh, I think we got to give up. I think we just got to go and hope it works out. I think if we had started saving like this from the very beginning, we might have been able to. But I don't think it's possible from here now. So let's just go. We'll pit on like lap 90 or something. Because it, it doesn't even seem like our fuel mileage is, mileage is that much better clutching it. Very tough. That's the way it goes. The lights have come on a couple laps ago. Let's see if we can catch Dakota up there. Back to 12th. I think a lot of people were expecting this to be long green.
I was one of them as well. I wasn't expecting this to go green to the end, and I, it may not still, but right now it's looking pretty pretty positive to do that. A lot of people pit on lap 40, which was a lot earlier than I thought people would start pitting. Which means we'll probably start seeing people pit again in the next couple laps. I might just self-spin. All of a sudden my right rear is gone. We're just going to give this to Tyler. Now that I've actually started trying to go, we're much slower. <laughs> I don't know if we're much slower. We're still catching those guys ahead of us. I think Tyler was just following what, what we were doing, and then uh, once we took off, he decided it was go time as well. Let's not be super aggressive center of corner, though. No reason for that. Uh, Frank up there staying high. Much appreciated. It's a little bit loose down the straightaway on these old tires, so gotta be careful. But he did a good job there. Outside. You're clear high. Clear high. We're gonna be pitting in about 10 laps. Let's see how everybody else does here. I'm just getting loose in the dog leg. We could maybe even pit like 85. I don't know what the best thing for us to do now is. Where's Colton? Does he pit a lap later than we did? He's up in second still. Tracy's still in the lead. I want to pit before these guys so I can try and leapfrog them back after they leapfrog us. Wesley's just now pitting. That's going to bring people down. It's going to bring a lot of people down. A lot of people. I think we'll pit next time. Here's Rick on new tires. Oh, we are loose down the dog leg. See if we can get Rick by us. I'll stay low for him. I think we're going to pit this time, see if we can leapfrog some people. We got one outside. All right, man, that car is a lap down. All clear, all clear. That was close to a speeding penalty. We have abandoned the three tire strategy because three, I don't think it's possible two, for us <laughs> one. Right here. so we're gonna give up All right, man. oh my gosh <laughs> or we'll just get trapped a lap down either way <laughs> couldn't I have waited one extra lap that stinks we'll get the wave around and at least our tires are brand new Up single file. Get ready to close. I Pass swear. You guys couldn't have done that like a half a lap sooner. Oh, uh, you decided to pit it earlier, pit earlier this the time, huh? Yeah, right in the back of the pack. And uh, pitch is left is right before I came up. Ugh. Brutal. <laughs> oh, well. We'll get the wave around. We should be alright. But we're going to be real far back now. Dang it, man. <laughs> Why did the timing have to be just awful? <laughs> Gavin, can you clear black flag? I'll clear him on the restart.
should you clear for someone that speeds on pit road? I, I didn't speed that lap car. I guess I beat him by, to the cone, I guess. Alright, uh, that's a fair one. That's annoying. Yeah. Pit road is now open. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I got hit for one because the car that's supposed to be in front of me was doing under the speed limit to check up to the group, and I got caught. All clear, all on the restart, I suppose. I don't know why we're never in a hurry to get her onto the pace car. It's the pace car. Yeah, I'm not sure either. We'll save fuel here. Our tires are going to be dead even with everybody. Man, that's annoying, the timing of that. We lost like 10 spots because of that. And I was going to try and leapfrog those guys, which now we're just on even tires. Really unfortunate there, but... We're not two laps down, right? No, we're, we're not even one, technically. Gosh, dang. <laughs> I have the worst luck. Anytime I try and pit early... Caution's either coming out as soon as I get to pit road or as soon as I'm leaving or while I'm on it. It's never... I never get it right before I pit. Like, hardly ever. Or, like, 20 laps after I pit. Oh. Which is why I usually try and go long, because if there's going to be a caution, I want at least a bunch of people to have already pit, so I'm not hurt too bad. But no, we try and pit early and we get burned. All right, man, we're going green next time. Bye. Pit road is closed. the a car. the a car. the We are in 23rd. And it's going to be a lot of work to get back to top 15. Um, we should be able to do it, though. There's still plenty of time. We're not even halfway yet. We should be able to recover from this. It doesn't kill us. But we do burn an extra lap of fuel getting around to the pace car. But that's all right. Yeah, but can you clear Thank you, Gavin. We're getting checked up here. Get ready. We have to get ready to go. Alright, man. Ace car is in. Green, green, green. They're going. The lead is just on one minute, thirteen point nine two six. I'm not gonna jump it or anything like that. Oh my goodness. Three wide, you're in the middle. You're clear high, clear high, outside. You do need to try and go a little bit though. Stay low. And not get wrecked. All clear. <laughs> we were starting behind some lap cars there because we got the wave around. Frank here. Stay low. All clear, all clear. We're just in full go mode now, though. Especially after that caution. Now we probably could have got it to lap, uh... Well, we can get it to lap 150 now, but can we make it to the end from there? I don't know. Try and do our best to hey Bryce, I gotta pit this time by. not uh, push too hard here and burn up the tires, but uh, I don't want to 
stay so far back for too long. I'm gonna try and get some of this back. As we do our fastest lap of the session. Colton back to the lead. I'll probably let you follow in behind him here. No pressure. Go for it, thank you. Thanks. Got one outside. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep looking down as well. Yeah, he's in a good position here. For Lucky Dog, for sure. He's got some good space behind him. Everyone else in front of us should be for position. Got somebody coming out of pit road. Raymond. Outside. Stay low, there's a car on the high side. Clear high, clear high. Last run was our saving run, this is our pushing run. Somebody's loose up there. As am I. I think top 15 is not too far ahead of us. We're almost back to where we qualified, 18th. But this is going to be much tougher traffic to get through. It looks like, oh, we're stopping into the corner. Benjamin's a bit loose. Outside. Stay low, there's a car on the high side. Sorry about that, George. Stay low. All clear, all clear. Puts us top 20, I think. Between the top 20. We got a bunch of cars ahead of us that we could pass, hopefully. Try and work our way around. Nice and safely. The tires are definitely not going to be as good at the end of this run, I don't think. I don't know if they're going to be too worse, though. As long as we're not spinning out on the right rear, I feel like... A lot of guys are pushing and they're uh, getting really loose early. That's getting them, getting their right rears burnt up. So if we're a bit tighter, that might play into our hands a bit. Ronald goes high. There's some okay. movement going on ahead of us. We're high. We're Nick high. King, I think, got loose on the outside there. Kind of Sorry, slipped Nick, up a bit. Got a little loose. Or press did. Somebody did. Nah, you're all good, man. We're behind Steven now. This is dicey. Okay. Got one outside. Stay low, there's a car on the high side. All clear, all clear. Overdrove that one pretty bad. Good save, Ron. Delete it. Did a 30.5855. Alright, man. Okay, we are in 19th, 18th, I think. Nineteenth. Okay, we are in 19th, 18th, I think. 19th. 18th. <laughs> Took forever to update. Might have stalled out here a little bit.
Just past halfway. Take it down here. I know you guys are faster than me on the long run. Appreciate it. Can we make it to lap 50? Lap 150? Oh, there's no way. No way at all. Why did I think that was going to be possible before the restart? And that was a massive, massive push that we haven't felt all day. And now it's we're just going backwards. <laughs> this stinks. This is not what we wanted. Just try and not get that big push out of turn four again if we can help it. And now we're just spinning out. Good grief, what happened? We already kill these tires? What the heck? All these guys that we just passed are gonna go back around us. All because I was pushing too hard trying to get my track position back. We we're like spinning out loose now. Yeah, I don't know what happened. All these guys are going to pass me right back. Man, that is unfortunate. All because of the timing of the caution. And because I'm a bad driver. That's part of the reason. <laughs> Oh, this is unfortunate. All clear, all clear. You got one inside. Worst timed yeah. caution possible. Stay high. For what we were doing there. But nothing we can do about Stay it now. High. Still there. I'm surprised that one push out of turn four has just killed it. Stay high. And now we're not even gonna be able to stay in the top twenty. Clear low, clear low. After we had a top ten car. Gosh, that's frustrating. <laughs> Gosh dang it. I don't know how we're gonna be able to get that track position back because I assume we're not gonna get another caution. I did not think we were going to hit a brick wall and just start falling this early. Really concerning. It just won't turn in turn three and four, and then half the time it's spinning out. And we're just losing a ton, a ton of time and speed. We just need another caution, I guess. This is very unfortunate. Good 83, I'll give it to you here. Take it. We overdrove early in the run here and it's just destroyed the tires. No problem, man. Absolutely destroyed them. We may end up getting another caution get though. Right now. Which I think we need at this point. But I guess we just haven't been that fast. We just had track position and then that got taken from us. So now we're just back here. Trying our best to stay, to get back to a top 20, which is not looking very likely. Ronald is catching up behind us. And it just will not turn in three and four until you're off the corner putting a ton of wheel into it. Got one inside. Oh, we almost spun out.
just drove way too hard those first handful of laps at the beginning of the run and that just kills him and you can never get him back. Trying to get positions early while everyone was still kind of grouped up, but uh, that didn't work. So when do we pit to try and make up something? We can pit early, leapfrog some people, and be all right if we can take care of the tires. Not like this run. They were still kind of in line with the leaders' times. We're still going to need another stop after this, I'm pretty sure. Shoot. Should we just pit on lap 120? Go to like 1... 60, 165, and go to the end from there instead of like trying to get this 130 or something. Maybe we just pit really early. That may not even be that early for a bunch of these guys. I don't know. Maybe that'll work, get our track position back a little bit. Or we'll get another very badly timed caution. I think we're gonna pit lap 120 and get it to like lap 160, 165, and then pit. And maybe we'll come out here and be a little bit better on fresh tires and gain some track position back. Tires have kind of equalized at this point. But we're not gaining a whole lot. Assuming this goes green to the end, which I think there's a pretty good chance of that. I don't know, we're moving forward a little bit again. So maybe it's not the best idea to give that up, try and move forward a bit here. Get a couple of our positions back. The tires have kind of come back to us. I don't know. I'm not sure how to play this. 31.6 from the leader. That's what we're doing. We're just going to self-spin, bring out the yellow. Now, I think... I think we try and pit early, I guess. I mean, we're going to be really bad long run compared to these guys, but short run maybe we'll gain some? I don't know. Probably not that much. Let's pit this time, see what happens. Four car pitting is fine. Well. We're not going to be the only one. So we're not going to gain a bunch on everybody, at least. Make sure the tires are set, fuel is what we want.
really conservative on the pit road that time, but that's all right. Five, three, two, one. Hey, right car pitting this lap. All right. Try and gain some back. We're not going to gain a ton, but if we can get four or five spots, I'd be happy with that. That's it. Go. Pretty bad stop. Unfortunately. Almost 14 seconds. Behind you, pitting. Oh, pitting the that car is a lap now. I think everybody's resigned to the fact that they're not going to make it on just one more stop. Alright, this is what we wanted. We come out on clean track. We just got to put in some decent laps and not use up the tires too bad. Or spin out. Because that would be bad. We only lost like three, two or three positions pitting there, so that's good. Getting around Nick King there. Try and be nice and smooth. See if we can gain anything back. Leaders are still out here, apparently. Which is good. Pulling away from Nick King a little bit. I'm pitting in. Fulton's pitting. We're getting a little bit on him. But obviously we're not going to pass him. Thanks for the space, guys. Look how far ahead he is. 29 pit. 29 pit. 29 pit. Hi. Hi. I absolutely can't stand this stuff. I just picked up that part of the left. I just tried going around you. Just kidding. I'm not pitting. <laughs> we're not. <laughs> Where it shows the left side. We I cannot. I was just going on the outside. It's going to pet. I mean, we just keep getting screwed over. We're never going to get back to the top 10 or top 15. <laughs> We're never going to get back to the top 15. Keep getting cautions at the absolute worst time. I think we're still trapped a lap down, even. Like, we're going to have to take the wave around again. Oh, man. And our tires are going to be worse compared to the leaders now because. We pit a couple laps early. <laughs> yep. Oh man. It's the eighty-two car. Just once, one race, I'd like to have luck car, with the pit strategy. Let him buy on the outside. Could I not get completely hosed one time? Colton might have got some damage from that. We may get some positions from people that were in that wreck. Oh, man. We're going to take the wave around again. We'll be back in 22nd. Not going to gain anything on anybody from pitting early there. Oh. can't pit I got to get back on the lead lap I mean if I was on the lead lap I definitely would pit take a little bit of fresher tires I don't th you still can't make it to the end from here so I don't know it would be nice you don't understand how frustrating that is for me it's just so annoying I just thought I was just casually going on the outside of them didn't think that the part of the left side stuck out only 15 people on lead lap right now. Well, we should technically be back on the lead lap. Yeah, we're a minute and a half behind because we're up in front of the 
field. Gosh dang it. And now we're going to have the same situation as last time, where if we push really hard, we're going to be crap in five laps. And we're probably going to start off pretty bad, because we took tires like four or five laps ago. Oh! Brutal. You can't wait until before I pit to cause a caution. But of course, the chances of that happening when we're pitting early is pretty low. <laughs> Every time I try to pit early to leapfrog people, cautions just take all that away. I think uh, we've gone green so much. No way there's going to be a yellow right when I'm pitting. Let's go ahead and try it. Well, every single time. Both times. The one time I pit late and lose track position because I'm pitting late is when we're staying yellow. Or staying green, rather. We gotta go. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Where's the picture? Yeah, Colton is on pit road with damage. Three. That is very, very unlucky for him as well. I guess he got more unlucky than check you him up, did. Guys, check him up, check him up. So, we don't have a lot of room to complain. Ready. Colton's wrecked out by the looks of it, and he was running up front in the lead, so more oh, unlucky on, for guys, him than for us. We're going to have to get around Rick. Oh my goodness. Oh, what is going on here? Try any mess of any brass house. Just trying to do as much damage as possible. Clear low, clear low. Okay. A lot of people off the pace with damage there I was not expecting. It's alright. We got lots of laps left. Why are all these lap cars up here? Because of all the wave around people. They had to go behind them. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh man. Okay, he's pulling off, thank you. We get a run on Warren. A Layton up there, not too far. Just gotta hope these tires don't turn to trash. I think we're gonna be alright, as long as we're not getting it loose like we were at the beginning of the last run. I wonder what pitting is going to be like now. Looks like we can make it to like 30 to go. Do I try to leapfrog people again or what? And that big loose moment is not what we want. Do not want big loose moment. Dakota in 15th, just a little under two seconds ahead. Ugh. <laughs> We're not going to have anything left in like 10 laps.
Ooh, Lance just got the wall up there. May get some more yellows. Definitely possible. We are catching this group a little bit. Not too fast, but a little bit. Tires are already going away. People are going quicker than they have been all race, I think. Pushing harder. As the laps are winding down. Well, that was John that I think caught the wall last time, not uh, a late, or not a uh, Lance, rather. That really hard hit that yeah, we saw. have it in one coat. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. They're slowly catching these guys, not quickly at all, but slowly. Can't hit the wall out of turn four. Or into turn one. Felt like we were sideways that whole corner. <laughs> Watch that white line. Gotta watch that white line. Can't even Sorry, Jeff. get it to the white line in three and four. Can we make it back to the top fifteen? It feels like such a long ways away right now. It's just the leader of this pack. But we cannot catch up. <laughs> At least right now. Allen behind us is catching up as well. Yep, yep. Thirty point seven from the leader and we are not doing that, but the leader is on brand new tires and we're on slightly older tires. Ooh, John just clobbered the wall there. Inside. Don't particularly want to be on the outside of three and four, but that's where we ended up. Trying to get a run and clear him. If you ain't pitting, good time. Frank's pitting. I, I'm, I don't want to pit early anymore. <laughs> it hasn't worked out once.
I know if we just take this fuel tank to the end and run it empty, we're never going to get a caution, but if I pit early, we're definitely going to get one, so I might as well stay out. Alan is flying behind John now. We cannot get this thing to turn in three and four. <laughs> We've hit that brick wall. Big loose. Gonna have to let Alan go pretty quick. He is flying. He came back from like a second back behind us and is really moving forward. Not quite there. I don't want to get out of his way. We'll lose time to these guys. If he'll make the move, and Thank we're, you. we're not going to fight him. He's going to get a run out of turn two here. Somewhere. Not quite. I'm just trying to back the corner up a little bit more. There he goes. Got one inside. Maybe we can follow him around these guys. Clear low, clear low. Maybe, but I doubt it. Somebody up hitting the wall in front of a Layton. It's Frank. We get loose there. That car is a lap now. Got one outside. Oh, big, big tight. All clear, all clear. Big, big tight. Got one outside. Still there. Can I get around Lance? Hello. You do. Clear high. Clear high. Warren right behind us as well. Looking fast. I guess we're just going to try and get this to where we can make it to the end on fuel, which would be like 160. One fifty five, really, with his pit. But uh, I don't think we're going early. This time. We tried that twice and it has not worked, so. Third time's a charm, maybe? I don't know. We are in the eighteenth. Very far back. Just once you lose track position, it's so tough to make it up because of all the green flag racing. Oh! Dakota got loose there. He's on the same tires that we are. Remember, he pit just in front of us. So he may be falling off a bit. But 
I can't get off the corner to save my life right now. I believe it's just did on 31.408. 31.4 is about what we're running. But if we're running the same speed as the leader, we're never going to catch him, especially back here in 18th. That doesn't really help us. We were two tenths slower that lap anyway, so. <laughs> Come on, turn. I think we're within the pit window to make it to the end. We got 45 to go. You can make it safely from here. Uh, did we pit? Try and make something up? No, we're just going to get a caution if we try it. We're going to pit. Going to make it look like I'm getting loose. This is probably yeah. stupid, but third time's a charm. Third time is the charm. Hitting this lap, Frank. Tires. 74, Tire 76. Me, I'm pitting. I'm going to drag a lot of people down. That's it, go. Same pit stop that we've been getting all night, 13.9. One, one set of tires remaining if we get a late caution, so good on that. Okay. Try and not uh, lose too much once we get on track here. Hopefully not come out in traffic. We've got to be careful on cold tires. Outside. All clear, all clear. And assume this is going to go green to the end, and hopefully, we'll gain a couple positions. We get by Dakota here. By a pretty good margin. Can we at least get through a pit cycle where I pit early? Make it to the end? So I'm not trapped a lap down if we get another caution. We get by Allen and a Layton, barely. A Layton might be able to stay ahead of us actually. Got one inside. Still there. But we got a good run on the outside there. He backs off. We pinched him a little bit, but I wanted to clear him. Colton up there and uh, John, they're still out. They're on the lead lap. Colton's got a lot of damage, it looks like. Significant damage. I'm going to bottom here. Thanks. Really unfortunate for him after this kind of speed he's got. But it looks like he'll be able to finish top 20 still. If this goes green to the end, we're going to gain quite a bit of time. 
which will be good. Dakota, that was awesome. So we might be able to finish top 15, top 20 at least. Pitting in here, pitting in. Get around Lance. We can, we can. We're in 17th now. Should gain some more positions as people pit. Problem is they're going to come out on new tires. And there's a lot of fast guys behind us. Alayton and, and Allen are both very quick. And we're quicker than us at the end of that last run. These guys on brand new tires are going to be flying. Just pass Colton for position. Maybe we'll get a lucky caution. And uh, we'll get this track position and then a yellow will come out. Aiden, can we fit this time? I don't know. I'd be really happy if no yellow came out. Dan's pitting. Had to make sure it was high for that. Which we were. We're in 14th. Looks like it's working a little bit. To start with here, is it going to end up alright? Maybe. Ian is up there in seventh. We're about to pass him for position. Well, we're not about to pass him, but he's up there. Three seconds ahead of us. Leader just now pitting. Mitch, I think, has inherited the lead. We're in eleventh. This would work out great if we could stay here. Alayton is right behind us, though, and we just did a terrible corner. There's John. We're almost back on the lead lap. Mitch up there. Don't wreck until we get back on the lead lap. I think we're in Lucky Dog spot right now. But I'd rather be back on the lead lap. We're in eighth. Which is fantastic. This has worked out finally. Third time's a charm, like I said. I knew it all along. That was the plan the whole time. <laughs> Mitch trying to catch a lucky caution. He's going for two wins in a row. We're back on the lead lap. We're big, big blinking out of John there. It looks like they were wrecking. It's all good. We're in sixth, but how much are we going to lose before this one's over? I don't know. Oh, Chuck is out. I mean, we're pretty dang close on the fuel. I think we can make it, though. And a Leighton's going to pass us here. Just gonna give it to him. And Allen and Ron, or Michael behind us. Michael's 1.8 back though. We just keep the tires on it. Our tires are a little bit worse than a Layton's, but not by a lot. Just nurse it to the end. I mean, we got a ton of time left still, like 30. 30 laps. Raymond, you really gotta pick a lane when someone's coming up that fast and chose the middle. I don't know. Ooh, I'm just ran you over. And we get another terrible three and four. Yeah, I didn't realize you were coming that fast. Man. I seen you coming there and then just look back up again and you're right there. Yeah, one gonna get Alan by us. See if we can fall in behind him and stay ahead of Michael. I don't know if we're gonna be able to. Mitch still out here? That's what it sounds like. I 
got to get it to turn in three and four. This is terrible. There. Mitch just now pitting. He's going to lose a bunch. It looks like we've gained a bunch. We could still easily fall back to 15th, though. Any caution now, though, I imagine everybody's going to pit, and we're going to be up here still. So that'll work. Michael flying by us. Then 2.6 back to Dakota, so maybe we'll be all right. All clear, all clear. Still back in the top 10. That definitely gained us some track position to start this run as we almost wreck. Will we be able to hold on this whole time, though? I don't know. Yeah, no problem. I got to try to save fuel now. Hope we How don't have to you? try and save fuel. Yeah, we're going to be close. Right now. Uh, you can save that. Yeah, stupid auto fuel. I hate it. Yeah, it has never been that helpful, I don't think. Thanks for giving me the bottom there. We get a caution. We're in good shape. If we stay green, we may not be in good shape, especially if we're spinning. We're losing time to Warren quickly behind us. I just can't get it to turn in three and four. going to come up, come up and pass us. There's probably going to be more behind Dakota that are going to come up and pass us. I think we can stay ahead of Dakota, though. Warren's gaining a lot every lap. I've tried to take care of these tires, but clearly we have not done a great job. Because I can't get to turn in 3 and 4 and 1 and 2. It's just a mess. I'm just spinning out because I got so much wheel in it out of turn four. Got one outside. Because it won't turn. You're clear high. Clear high. Can we make it? We should be able to, right? We had 43 to go. You can go at least 46. <laughs> it's going to be bad if we run out of fuel. Of course, that time we went 46 last, we were clutching it, I think. A little bit better at the dog leg than that. Sorry about that, Dick. I wasn't sure which way you're gonna go. Okay, we're like half a lap to the good. And it's kind of been steady there, so I think we're fine. Fuel mileage should get slightly better as we have to slow down more for the corners as the tires go away. Yeah, Caden behind Warren now. We're going to lose a bunch of spots. Oh. <laughs> Cannot get any luck with cautions. If we got one now, we'd be in great shape. But if this goes green to the end now, I don't I think we're going to lose a bunch. So we got much newer tires flying up. I had to pit early there, though, and try and get this position back. 20 more left. 20 to go. How far are we going to fall? How far are we going to fall? There's only 22 people on the lead lap. We may fall to 22nd. There's four people lined up that are about to pass us back by the looks of it. Oh, it's 
unfortunate. Yeah, one inside. Stay high. All clear, all clear. No fun to go backwards. That's what we get for jumping everybody. We'll just stay out of the way. Get Warren and Steven by us. Dakota's 1.6 back now. He's gained like a full second on us. Oops. Got one outside. Just clear high. Steven clear just high. caught the wall. Hopefully we didn't cause that by being too close to him. That keeps us in the top ten for a moment. I need the tires to equalize tire wear with the whole field so we can stop losing positions. I just don't think it's gonna happen quick enough. That puts us back to 10th after Steven caught the wall there. I'm sorry, and I wasn't trying to get into your left room, man. 1.6 behind us. You'll get us. But we have the bottom right there. Yeah, I was definitely trying to send it in there. That might have been too much of a send, though. It's probably on me. I think Tracy's up there leading this thing. This might be his time to win. He's had, I think he's been the fastest driver in the series that hasn't gotten a win yet. So it was only a matter of time. Hopefully I'm not jinxed him, knock on wood. I think this could be his win. I think he's in the lead. I guess we could make sure. Well, he's behind us, wherever he is. Yeah, Tracy's in the lead. Our tires aren't as bad now compared to everyone. I mean, they're still worse, and we're still losing a bit. And we get a caution. So, I'm so sorry. it worked out okay for us. Worked out okay for us. We're up to 10th hey, again. Okay. We get our positions back. A lot of our positions back. We'll take our last set of tires here. And, uh... We'll be in decent shape. And be careful on the restart. These late race restarts are pretty treacherous. So that actually worked out okay for us. We got some luck there. You gotta get around me, 30. Checking up. Get back here. Hopefully we didn't jinx Tracy with this caution. We gotta go around and catch up though. I know it's late, but let's be careful on this restart coming up and finish this under green. We can do it. If this works out, we get our track position, we can come take tires and be fine. I'm actually going to take a splash of fuel as well, just to make sure. Try and get a good pit stop here. We're not taking two tires, that's for sure. And that was long enough runs where everybody was going to need to pit there. And everybody is, so. two, one, right here. All right, 75, 75. How's that for some good tires? Ours are probably some of the oldest. We got our track position back, though. That's right, what we needed. It's going to drive through the pit stalls here. All right. 
We actually passed Warren back there. Mitch leapfrogged us. But he pit so late, he probably took two. That might, uh, that might be a play for him. Or he might uh, be extremely, <laughs> extremely loose. I hope we get a good restart and uh, finish this under green. That's what I'm hoping. These restarts have been pretty good. Everyone's been spread out quite a bit. So I don't expect this to be too bad. There's people taking the wave around. Couple. We're going to be back in like 12th or 13th. Or 10th. You get to that on your screen? 11th. Oh, did you see that? Ronald in the 6 is in the lead right now. He must have pit very late. Getting that bonus. Five bonus points. Wonder who's led the most laps. Probably it's either Colton or Tracy, I imagine. Probably Tracy. Additional Could five. Be careful at the start. Bonus Leaders points. Not on first stars. Yeah, let's not wreck immediately, hopefully. Yeah, I gotcha. Leader is on old tires. It's going to be pretty sketchy. I hope everyone just gives room. Pass the 58. And understand the situation here. This next caution probably ends the race, and I don't want to pace around for six laps at the end of the race again. If so I'm going to lay off him a little bit so we got time to react. Yeah. Careful spinning those tires, too. Good grief. Old tires. We got Warren right behind us. I'm happy to be back to P11. I hope we can get a top 10 out of this. I don't know if we're going to be able to. I think Mitch might have a tough time if he's on new two tires, which I assume he is, to gain all that track position. He was behind us going down pit road. I don't know how that's going to handle for him. Try and get a good start. See, probably restart in third gear. We've been doing that a couple times. Uh, be careful, it's not accordion. Up this far in the pack though, second gear is probably fine. Oh man, what's gonna happen? Gotta be careful, the cold tires are gonna be loose. Get ready. I'm curious to see how Mitch is going to do here on those two tires. All right, man. Eight cars in. Are we going? Green, green, green. We were kind of going, kind of not. Get a run on a Layton. Caden up there on the outside. Try to get a run on him. Outside. Stay low. Just stuck in traffic here. Just gotta be careful. Mitch is looking pretty good on those two tires. All clear, all clear. Michael's getting loose. Outside. You have it in one, Tyler. Oh. We got nowhere to go. Thankfully, he gathered it, gathers it up. We get up underneath Allen. Thank you. Whew! Scary. Scary, scary, scary. Great save from Michael, though. To get through the grass and come back out. And uh, not even lose that much. Setting the fastest lap right at the end. This is looking awesome. We are in eighth. Working out great for us. Ronald has kept it clean. This might work out good for him on track position. Finishing order. Unless they make contact. Oh, that was a very dumb move of me to go to the apron there. But we just passed two people doing it. I thought they were spinning. 
and we get a yellow. And that'll do it, and we end up sixth. Good race, everybody. Gavin, can you uh, give me the yellow for next race? Uh, not how I like the win. Sorry, I wasn't expecting to check up there. You want an EOL now, you said? <laughs> no, no, next race. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Good race. That was a lot of fun. Hey, good win, Tracy. Good race, good win. Dan, can I get an FOL right now? <laughs> yeah, sure. Front of the line? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was really tough luck for you there, that uh, pit and then that wreck right there. Pit road is now open. left side just sticks out so much further than I think it does. I was lining it up with my door, thinking that's how much room I had to give to go to his outside and go by him. I guess it sticks out a couple inches here, probably a couple feet further. Yeah, we need those dang symmetrical bodies on these Gen 4 cars. Twisted Sister just makes it go out really far on the left side. Yeah, and I'm just not used to that because I don't race this car a ton. It happens. I am still I was mad at myself. I knew I uh, messed up bad. We'll give him an EOL next race, like he said. We end up sixth. Mitch does great on those two tires. He was looking fast. I, we weren't going to catch him. We're going to have to look at that three wide move we made because I thought they were wrecking on my outside, so I go to the apron <laughs> to dodge, and they all kept it straight. Ronald... Uh, staying out there, he winds up ninth with a great finish, so that actually worked out. Nearly a collision and a wreck, but uh, they keep it together. Unfortunately, we got to do some pacing here at the end, but overall, that was a really fun race. And I did not think we were going to recover from that. I'm really happy to get back to sixth. Really happy to get yeah, back I'm to six. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I, it was so bunched up up there. I probably should have been giving more room, but with so few to go, I was given every little bit of, <laughs> get, of what I had left in it. You know, I, I, so I'm sorry. Ian ends up second. Hey, you get run into by someone in the back trying to jump the start. All right, man. Two to go. Billy gets third. John fourth. Yeah, it's really hard to blame fourth. that on anyone. It was just really tight and coming to the end. It was just really jumbled up. There were yeah. a bunch of people I had to check out. Yeah, these I think it was definitely probably my fault because I spun the tires and got really, really loose. I actually hit the wall on the restart there, so if you want to blame oh. it on anybody, you can blame it on me. I didn't see that. These late cautions are unfortunate, but... Nah, it, it, it's the matter of and the 200 laps yeah. racing, everybody's trying to get the positions at the end. It's all good. It's tough racing. It's hard to blame anybody for these late cautions because, I mean, we're all trying as hard as we can, the hardest we've tried all race, and we're just right on the edge the whole time being aggressive to get what we can get at the end, and this kind of stuff just happens. And hard to blame anybody. I wish we could finish under green more. It's just, there's not a lot we can do. Sat back a little bit because he missed. He didn't necessarily miss, but he had two late shifts and that just killed him instantly. The leader. So he was very slow on that start. It was a slow start, but he kept it together. He's in ninth, finishing ninth. Is this your first win, Tracy? Yeah. Yeah, it is, but it's not quite how I wanted to get it. I wanted White to add a cold for it. Yeah, well, congrats, man. You've definitely been fast all season. I'm surprised you, you know you haven't won yet. So. Yeah. Congrats. It was about time for him to get the win, for sure. Thanks, man. Yeah, great win. You've had the speed, for sure. It was only a matter of time. He's been one of the fastest out of everybody, and for him not to have a win yet. I saw to whoever that was that I blocked down to the apron and put the grass with like two to go. That was definitely my bad. Whew. Hey man, it was just crazy racing. That's all I'm saying. It was indeed crazy racing. I was clear, but it was definitely a little bit late. He wasn't expecting it. He put left side tires in the grass and almost spun out. I think he saved it though. That might have been Michael, yeah. I think yeah, he did save it. Fun. It was just like three wide on that last little part of the dog leg and it was scary. Sim time. It really got crazy up there at the end. It looked like three by three there for a minute. That was yeah. Crazy. 
Sim time ends up uh, almost 11 yeah, o'clock. <laughs> so that worked out pretty good. And that was a fun race. That was a good two or good 300 miles, 200 laps. Gavin was definitely the right one to follow through that man. <laughs> that was scary. I thought they were going to wreck on my outside, so I dove it to the apron three wide, and somehow we got through that. I was hoping to get to you guys there towards the end, but got caught up in that three really wide behind them. Woo! There's the checkered. Fireworks are going. Definitely deserved job, after that race. That was a tough one. World 600 is always, always a marathon. Past the 12, Great job past to everybody. Past the 29, past the, past For the sure, 60, that was a lot of fun. Great racing. Man, that was crazy. That we got to look at that last restart. I am so amazed we came back to sixth. After that, it, third time was the charm with that early pitting, I told you. Let's go take a look at that last restart. Uh, we'll take a look. TV3, I guess. Is that going to be too zoomed out? Um, well, can't see anything on the back stretch. Coming to the green here. Blimp. TV1. So we're all getting checked up there. Because of that slow restart up front. And then we're just going to have to look at uh, eh, TV3, I guess, will be fine. I want to see more of the cars. So we're going. We're trying to get it underneath Caden there on the outside. It's a stupid giant screen. Can't see anything. So we get underneath him, trying to make that pass. And then this is when Michael and John come together. Michael gets very loose up into the grass ahead of us. So I think we're going to have to go three wide middle to get around Michael, but he gathers it up and is actually faster, and that gets us on the inside of Allen with a ton of cars behind us. A Layton's following us through there. Nearly three wide behind us. And then we're keeping this clean. We're following Michael, getting around Allen. Big loose from Allen right there. He's dropping back a bit. And then this is when Michael starts catching Ronald, who had stayed out on old tires in the Sterling Marlin car up there. And I swear he drove into his right rear. I don't know how they didn't wreck. That's why I dove it to the apron. But somehow we all keep it straight, and I make, the, make both passes from the apron <laughs> in turn four. Right there. It looked like he drove into him. Right there. So I go low. That is just ridiculous. We keep it straight, briefly, and then right there's some contact. Still don't see the caution. Right there's the caution. So Colton gets in. They're just all stacking up from that. Colton gets into the back of Jordan in the Matt Kenseth. Like They're just stacking up because... They're, they make contact. Michael and Ronald make contact up there. I dive it to the apron three wide. That gets everyone out of shape. Ronald trying to save it. Michael trying to save it. So then there's more contact, and they're just all just getting stacked up there. Colton can't even really see until, I mean, yeah, I mean, they just all stop in front of him. Nothing, nothing anybody can really do right there. Unfortunate for Jordan and big hit for Nick King back there. I don't think he, he could see him until right at the last second either. Wow, that was crazy. That was crazy. A lot of the field ends up with 0x. We are one of them, amazingly. So we saw the final restart and the final caution. Let's go look at the rest of the cautions, starting from all the way back on lap number 83. We go 83 green to start this. I can't believe we made it back to sixth. I cannot believe we ended up with such a good position. Not seeing anything there. Now we're on lap 94. Where the where the heck was the caution? Where are you at, caution? Right there. Is it somebody spinning out of pit road? Let's see. Wesley? Was it Wesley? 
That's surprising if that causes a caution. He's down in the grass. He just gasses it up a little too quick. And he gets it back going pretty quickly. Is that really what causes the caution? That is surprising. I would not think that would cause a yellow. And, uh, and here we are sitting on pit road as the caution comes out. I am skeptical that... I guess that causes it. That is strange. Him in the grass, getting sideways, like not even spinning completely, just getting sideways. Doesn't even show up on the incidents. That is very weird there, but oh well, that's really unlucky for us if that's the yellow. <laughs> and then we go, we pit on lap 121, and then 125, we get the next yellow. Which is Tracy getting in the back of Colton. He just, Tracy mis misjudged it. And Chad right there as well. Just really, un really unlucky for Colton and Chad there. And Tracy feels really bad about that, he said. Chad, nowhere to go. But Tracy thought his left sides were clear and just gets into the back. And, of course, with these bumpers and stuff, you just, just insta-spin. It looks like only Colton and Chad are damaged there. That's unfortunate. Colton still winds up 14th, so he gets a pretty good finish out of it. Chad, unfortunately, 29th. He was too broken. He hit him head on, though. So that was 124. And then we go green, and we pit early this time, 158. And actually, we gain a bunch of track position, and then we stay green long enough after that that uh, when the caution came out, finally, we could pit and take tires, and everyone was going to pit and take tires. Oh, and that's... Oh! Is that the caution? Steven? Just up in the wall. Once you hit the wall at turn four, it's really hard to not hit it in the middle of the dog leg, which he finds out here. And then... He just can't get... Can't c control it again. Oh, and then... Matthew comes in. And that is... The second to last caution, and we've already seen the other one. So, fun race. Unfortunately, another yellow ends it, but just the way it goes sometimes. At least we didn't pace around for 20 laps at the end. It was four. We've had some where we paced around for six, so I guess uh, not as bad as it could have been. Let's take a look at the points and the results if we can. Seasons, few season. So I am still the points leader. I gain a little bit on Colton there, again, since I beat him. So I've got a good good margin there. And uh, Colton has been to every race, like us. So even if even his three wins, we've had more consistent finishes and got more points there. He's got way... I mean, he deserves the championship with his three wins, 50 bonus points. We got no wins and five bonus points. Tracy, though, up to fourth now, getting his first win of the season. He's also gotten 50 bonus points. He's going to be climbing up very quickly if he keeps doing this well, which he should be. John is up to sixth now with his three wins. Chuck is ninth. He loses a bit there after getting involved in an incident. Mitch is in 12th now. Um, so, really cool. Michael in 7th has gotten no bonus points, but he's been consistent every week, and it seems like he's been in finishing really well pretty much every week. He's up in 7th in points, doing great. He's been to most of the races as well. I think he might be one of the ones that have been to all uh, 11 now. Take a look at the results. Tracy gets his first win. Great job to him. We get four cautions for 16 laps. Pretty good for 200 laps. Uh, 20, almost 2,700 strength of field. So Tracy, Ian, Billy, John, and Mitch make up the top five. Me, Michael, seventh, and then Alayton, Ronald, and Allen, which is pretty cool. Great job to Ronald for staying out there and uh, getting those bonus points for leading a lap and then finishing top ten. So it worked out really well for him. Let's see, Tracy gets 180, so he did not lead the most laps. He, he led 69 laps. Colton led 81, so he gets the most laps led bonus. So, uh, yeah, pretty dang cool. That's the Coke 600. That's the longest race of the season. They're not going to get any longer than that. And uh, that was definitely exciting. Ups and downs for us. 
did not think we were going to come back and finish top 10 after some unlucky cautions, but uh, we somehow did it, and that was a, a fun and exciting one.